one of each of Timmy was here with the Hitman's Wife bodyguard and now I decided to do my review for the very first Hitman's uh, for the first film which is simply titled The Hitman's Bodyguard. The Hitman's Bodyguard, I remember when the first show for this premiered uh, it featured the uh, classic uh, Whitney Houston song, uh, My Heart Will Go On, and then the posters was like a parody of the uh, Whitney Houston film, The Bodyguard. One of the best uh, promotion material ever. Uh, you already know that Ryan Reynolds has something to do with that uh, promotion material, because when when you want Ryan Reynolds to promote your movie or advertise your film, you get advertisement. We've seen how great he does um, when it comes to advertisement, whether it's from Deadpool, Pikachu, and whatnot. You know, Ryan Reynolds, I'm saying this right now, I don't only like this dude as an actor, I love this dude as a person. Like, Ryan Reynolds, I think, is the man. And, you know, it's like, stuff, you know, he does on, uh, he posts fun at on Twitter and Instagram, his feud with Hugh Jackman, is just the best. And so, teaming up Ryan Reynolds with Samuel Jackson, come on, you know where you're getting at. Deadpool and uh, Nick Fury teaming up together. Uh, but anyway, and you also had Salma Hayek, who's of course going to make her Marvel debut in The Eternals. I can't remember who she's playing that film, but... You, know, you also had Gary Oldman, who plays, like, the bad guy in this. I mean, I thought the first Hitman's Bodyguard movie was so fun. The action was cool. The chemistry between Ryan Reynolds and Samuel Jackson was top-notch. Those two play off each other really well, you know? Uh, Salma Hayek, she, unlike the sequel, she did not really have that much of a prominent role in this one because she was like uh, mostly in jail for the rest of, for the whole film or I guess they captured and whatnot. Uh, I thought, you know, Salma Hayek's character is raunchy. I mean, this movie is rated on, especially because Salma Hayek's in it. You know, because she, her character has a foul mouth. I mean, her character's mouth in this is more foul mouth than Sam Jackson's character, believe it or not. Uh, but Salma Hayek is so good. Uh, I've always loved Salma Hayek. You know, she is the queen. She, I mean, Desperado from Dust of Dawn. Who can't get enough of Salma Hayek? Come on, people. Uh, you also had, you know, uh, the girl who played uh, Elektra in, um, in Daredevil, Yeldy Young, I think her name is. She, of course, was in this too. She played, like, uh, Ryan Reynolds' love interest. Uh, you got some other cool cast members in this too. Uh, but that side, it's such a fun film. Uh, the courtroom scene was pretty cool. Uh, the action moment. I mean, if you really want to look at it, this is definitely like a like an anti version of the Whitney Houston Harry Cosby movie by her. Instead of you know the falling in love and whatnot, there it's more of an action thing. But yeah, it's definitely a really fun film. I remember watching this thing on the big screen uh, back in 2017. I had a I had a blast of it. I'm glad that they did a sequel because the sequel is as good. So, yeah, I'm hoping we get a third one because I'll be down to see another one. But if you guys have not seen the first Hitman's Bodyguard, you can find it on Hulu. You can find it on some other sites and whatnot. You know, go watch it. The, uh, the Hitman's Bodyguard is hands down awesome. I want to see Ryan Rouse and Sam Jackson do another one. Too. Not just the third Hitman's um, film, but like just a regular another film. It'll be, it'll be cool to see. Uh, anyway. Let me leave you guys. Have you ever seen the 2017 of um, Hitman's Bodyguard? If so, which one were you a fan of it? Were you not a fan of it? And between the first and the second, uh, which one do you prefer? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Simon Sion.